Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeff from the Foodie Hideout, and today I'm going to be doing a video out of curiosity due to the fact that me and my wife did recently try the Impossible and Beyond Burgers at our home um, to have other people that have not tried the burger come and try it. Um, today I'm going to have two friends of ours come over as well as our in-laws to come try the burger, give their honest review of the burger, and then tell us what they do and do not like about it. I'm going to be preparing them the exact same way so nothing's going to change. The panelists are not plant-based by any means and they're being very open to trying this as a recipe so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what their opinions are for people who really don't stray from the meat and path at all. So I hope they um, really like it and we're, I'm just curious to see how it's going to turn out. Although we like the Impossible and Beyond Burger, the Impossible Burger unfortunately was a clear winner in terms of flavor. Again, if you want to be a part of something like this, definitely send me an email at foodiehideout at gmail.com. If you do like the video, just share it click the bell notification and subscribe to the channel so that we can get more people into this type of thing, uh, more type into plant-based eating, as well as different recipes that don't require meat. Um, again, I hope you like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. This is meatless, right? It's meatless, impossible. Completely plant-based. So, we had veggie burgers mm -hmm. the other night. No, those were turkey burgers. Those were turkey burgers. <laughs> Where's the whole box veggie burgers? It's a burger. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I don't think that's correct. Dad's stamp of approval. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? It's not bad. Not bad. You say it's better than the Burger King Impossible? Mm, a little spicier. It's spicy? Mm -hmm. What did you do? I wouldn't spice in this one, I promise. You taste spices. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't. Now, I don't claim to be a veggie burger expert, but it doesn't taste like a veggie burger. Mm -mm. It tastes like a burger. Yeah, it's like um, close. If the close. And if that's the goal, then I'd say goal achieved. Um, yeah. So it's good. Pretty mm -hmm. solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. good. Is, though, is this is this basically like it it's given um, almost like ground beef? Is that what they kind of give you? Yes. Yeah, it What's comes it? in a pack and it looks like they're going to see bison meat in the store and it's in that little plastic uh -huh. square. Okay, Same value. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, I mean you ground it and make it whatever you want. So now I could totally see this being used in almost like a vegan burrito. What I think is interesting here is the texture of this. It doesn't it doesn't resemble plant in any shape form. Mm -hmm. it, it it passes the visual test. Here. <laughs> it looks it looks like a burger. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody passed this off to me as a burger, I would not no, bat an eye at it. Yeah. it I, mean, it, I don't know what kind of makeup that they're using, you know, to, to create this, but they're doing a good job. So, I guess my main question would be the nutritional content of this, because I try and eat about 150 grams of protein a day. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know 
what this actually is comprised of. Yes. But I guess if I was trying to buy this for myself, that would be my main question. Is does this because I know that there are vegan like um, vegan supplements, there are vegan mm -hmm. um, meal prep alternatives that are heavily protein based. Mm -hmm. But again, I just don't know the the values of things like that. So you said I've tried a number of veggie burgers. Um, you know, typically at restaurants they have like the black bean patty or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and those are fine, but they usually have ingredients that don't really sit well with me in them. So those have never really been my favorite. I've, I really like the, the Burger Fi has that quinoa burger. I think it's really good. I don't say like... We like Burger Fi too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not a, a burger that you bite into and go, mm, beans, peppers. <laughs> you just feel like you're eating a burger of sorts. Granted, I'm not looking for a specific red meat flavor. So, um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of options for vegetarian, like, burger type things, I think it's awesome. I think it tastes really good. Wow, well, I think it's fairly good. I've eaten the whole thing. <laughs> if I didn't like it, I wouldn't finish it. The question they get a lot is like, well, if you like the taste of meat so much, then why do you try so hard to create something that basically replicates that? And for vegans, it's more so if you can't accomplish the same goal without hurting the environment or your body or animals or anything other than that for like different religious and moral reasons, why not do it? We just had a conversation, um, this was about Tara, my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, so she um, has recently been having stomach problems. Mm -hmm. And part of the conversation that she was having was, you know, is this caused by the amount of red meat that you're consuming? Um, so as of right now, a lot of the conversation is coming back to, does she need to supplement her diet with more plant-based proteins? Mm -hmm. um, because again, red meat can cause long-term damage if you consume too much of it. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, and I don't eat a lot of red meat myself either. Um, but even still, if you're if you're eating something with a mother or something with a face on it, mm -hmm. then for the long term, it's probably not going to be as good for you as other alternatives. So I think that that's part of the, what they're going for here is to find an alternative that's you know fairly sourced and also you know better for you in the mm -hmm. long term. I got a way to leave a way just like a seashell Fashion over cover booty like a meat scale Got a motor on me shorty like a V12 I can't stop, it's like I'm boosted on the B12 I got these